Hey guys, what's going on? I'm just going to talk at you for a little bit in this video. And I just want to say thank you again for giving me your time. So, I'm just going to say this. I've been on YouTube for a long time. I've been here doing this game for, gosh, since the very conception of YouTube. Since it first launched. And, you know what? It's been one hell of a ride. My first channel, which is considered a legacy channel, was pretty damn good. It was all over the place, it was random, and, well, it was sloppy. But, you know what, nonetheless, a lot of good times on there. Some of my most viral videos were done on that channel, and I couldn't be more thankful for it to this day. I was really, really ignorant at the time as to when that channel came up. I didn't know what I was doing. I was making videos, I was making content, but I just didn't know what to do, right? And I would throw out all these little these little examples of what could happen and you know what's what what we can do and well it was kind of a fail. <laughs> and I don't want to do that this time with this channel. I kinda of have a pretty good direction and overall I think I'm doing really good. I think I have it pretty much nailed down as to what I want to do. It's just the orders in which I want to do it in. So, I'm asking you, my viewers, you lovely, lovely group of about 690 plus viewers. I cannot believe we made it this far. And with YouTube's new algorithm and the way they're doing things, it requires that I do, supposedly requires that I do longer videos. So I'm going to ask you guys, do you guys appreciate the longer videos? Do you guys appreciate the longer dialogue? Um, the reason why I'm asking is because I don't want to push too much onto you guys. Because I'm, I'm, I guess I'm one of those YouTubers that thinks about his subs. Not a, whole, not a lot of YouTubers do, right? Not a whole lot of YouTubers do. Uh, many YouTubers, they'll just keep pushing forward and not give two dams about their subs. Well, I've never been that way. I've always been the thoughtful person. I've always kind of thought about, well, what do they think, you know? And with this channel growing at its rate, and it's really fast for me, by the way. I've, you know, it took me forever to get to above almost 1,000 on my last channel. And this channel is almost there in less time. Quite literally, in almost three months, I'm almost up past where I was when I left my other channel. And that's that's something to be proud of. And it's something to be celebrated for me. And I want to be able to push forward and I want to do more content for you guys. But at the same time, I don't want to drown out your upload feed. I don't want to drown out other people's content that you guys watch. And I think a lot of YouTubers kind of forget that. They think that they should be able to just drown out your guys' feeds and do two to three videos a day. Well, I'm not that guy. I never have been. So... Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys want to see the longer videos? If so, what do you want to see? And what did you guys think of that Soma video? Like, I actually put some time into it. I actually went and I kept a, I kept it to, like, certain details, but not too in-depth in to where people that watch it would fall asleep. So I wanted to make it atmospheric. I added some uh, extra sound to it that would make it a little bit more atmospheric. Um you hear that sound in there that's not actually in the game it's um it's just some atmosphere sound that i found yeah i thought it was a nice touch and i really am proud of it so let me know what you guys think about the soma review and i could tell that my final thoughts or my random thoughts sorry not final my random thoughts videos kind of like they, they sort of died out so i went ahead and i'm going to transfer my uh random thoughts segment over to vid.me so that way I can still do them. And for whoever likes watching them, you can just go over there, which you'll find the link down below. And what did you guys think of the story time with me? Like I was telling you about something that happened in my life when I was a little kid where I f slept through the one of the, the worst earthquakes of that time uh, and survived. Uh, what did you guys think of that? Did you guys actually like that? Did you guys actually enjoy that? Let me know what you think. Because I do like the feedback, believe it or not. And if 
I have time in the day to answer you guys and your questions and whatnot, I will do my best to answer them. Sometimes I forget and I'll start gaming and stuff with the guys, but then I'll come back to the channel and I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot to do this, this, this. The reason why I am this way, you guys, is because I don't see a point in blowing your guys' feet up. I don't see that. I don't see a point in doing that. I think that's kind of disrespectful in, in some form. But at the same time, I get why YouTubers do it, right? I see that they're trying to market themselves to where it is to a situation where you, like, have to click them. You know what I mean? Just to see what they're doing. So I get the reasons to do it, but I also, I have a deeper understanding as to why you shouldn't do it, I guess. Um, I've thought about doing a daily video. I've thought about, you know, doing the segments more often. I've thought about doing Let's Plays here, and I might actually do a Let's Play, actually. Now that I have in, uh, in Live or Relive, I keep calling it In Live for some reason, so I do apologize. It's called Relive. Now that I have that program, I think the Let's Plays might actually come up uh, in the future for this channel. And I've thought about doing Let's Plays for the longest time, but you guys, you do understand that when it comes to my videos, I'm pretty X-rated. I'm not exactly that one of the tamest of content creators here. I cuss a lot. I have a pretty perverse sense of humor, if you ask anybody that talks to me here. Um, the only thing that is like as close to being professional as possible is the one-on-ones that I have with people in this channel. So you guys saw Cyrus, the Cyrus Martin video, and you guys left some pretty good feedback. So hopefully we can get Titanfall Princess on here and uh, Tim Dog, which would be pretty cool to do a little one-on-one. -on -one. And people have asked me already, Brimstone, why are you doing this? Like, why are you doing one-on-ones with these people? Well, I don't hate people so easily there's not it's not something that i do right i don't just randomly hate people because of what they game on that's not who i am as a person i want to i want to talk to these people and, and sort of show them to you guys right like i want to see if we can have a good conversation a good one-on-one -on -one with the audience being there you know let you guys see these people see a side of these people that you don't normally see. Because all you see, let's face it, is the Twitter stuff, right? You see the shit posting on Twitter, and you see the shit posting here on YouTube, but that's all you see. You don't see anything else. You don't see anything more than what's been presented to you. And I want to present more than what you see. I think there's nothing wrong with that. And I think if we have a deeper understanding of other people and where they come from, the more we can deal with these things and deal with them in a better term than we are now. Because right now, it's pretty vile and toxic, and we handle gaming nowadays in the same form that we handle our politics. And it's not something that should happen. It really shouldn't. I mean, gaming has always been gaming for me, and it's always been something that I enjoyed. And I can't see for the life of me why I shouldn't like somebody else because of their gaming opinion. Even if it is false, even if there is fallacies in the logic that they use to present their gaming opinions to the masses. I shouldn't hate them over it. I mean, can I correct them? Sure. But is it going to do me any favors? Not really. What's going to happen? They're going to get beef with me. We're going to go back and forth on Twitter. And then what? What's going to happen? Anything else? Is anything good going to come, come of this? No, not at all. And I think we lose sight in that. And I think at the end of the day, we need to be better than this. We need to be better than what we present ourselves over Twitter or whatever, where it comes to social media in general. We all play a part, right? We all play a part. And whether you're against or for whatever it is that you follow, I still believe 100% no bullshit that we should be better than that of which has been presented to us. And I still believe that to this day. So again, thank you guys for watching. We're almost at 800, subs no, 700 subscribers. Sorry, we're almost at 700 subscribers. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for your time. And I really do appreciate it. But I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to go play some games with the guys tonight before bed. And then we're going to come up with some topics for uh, tonight's, or tomorrow night's technically, uh, Game Talk Podcast. And, uh, oh yeah, just so you guys know, we got recognized by Baited. So, uh, thanks.
to whoever that was, uh, one of you guys that are on that channel uh, for replying to the message that I sent to you in the middle of our last podcast. So that was really cool. So uh, thank you guys so much. You guys, I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you. Who am I kidding? Yeah, I would. I, I, I can't help myself. I'm so damn opinionated. But still, nonetheless, I don't think I'd be putting as much effort as I am now because you guys are here. And I really do enjoy this. I was talking to the guys last night. And I was telling them it is much, much different now versus where I was all them years ago. I actually enjoy making content for you guys. I can't tell you guys how important that is to me. I don't just make content and throw it up and hope you guys like it. I actually, I, I have been putting thought into some of this stuff, man. And that's not something I normally would do. And it's not something that I would even put effort for when it comes to video editing. And I have. That's the that's the crazy part, right? On my Brimstone channel, on my vlogger channel, I didn't put any effort into it whatsoever. I just had OBS run a camera and then boom, I was done. But here, I'm not just doing that anymore. I'm running uh, recordings of video games now at 60 FPS with 1080p with everything altered out. I'm trying to do as best quality as I possibly can with the systems that I have. And I'm actually enjoying it. I actually like it for once. And that's not, that's not normal for me. And, and again, it's because of you guys. You guys are literally the reason why I keep doing this. So again, you know, thank you for supporting us on the Game Talk. Thank you for getting us recognized by bigger YouTubers. Because the more people that see this channel and see the Game Talk podcast and all the random videos that we do together for our Squad Day Sunday, which is coming back. Um, but thank you. Thank you for getting us recognized. That's awesome. You guys have a great night. And I really, really hope you guys watch this video to the end. Um, again, if you haven't seen it yet, go check out my Soma review and go check out my blue video, which was meant to be a joke, by the way, if you guys didn't catch on, you guys have a great night. Once again, I know I said this twice already, but, uh, I'm out. Peace.